Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, wherever you are in this world. My name is Peter Easton. I'm the director of the Centre for Accounting Research and Education, known as KIA, in the Mendoza College of Business at the University of Notre Dame in the United States. I'm also the editor-in-chief of the new peer-reviewed journal, Accountability in a Sustainable World Quarterly, and Master of Ceremonies of this year's conference. On behalf of my fellow organisers, Jan Bowens at the University of Amsterdam, Robert Nickel at the University of Florida, and Shiva Rajkapol of Columbia University in New York City, it is my great pleasure to welcome you to the 2022 CARE Conference on Accountability in a Sustainable World. And on behalf of CARE, the Mendoza College of Business, and the University of Notre Dame, welcome. We recognise the immediate need for dialogue among academics and practitioners about sustainability, accountability, data and measurement, related assurance, high quality information to inform responsible investment decisions, and accountability and setting of personal, corporate and public sector goals. The aim of this conference is to meet this need by focusing on four pillars to a sustainable future investment, assurance, regulation and target setting, while building and strengthening the links between academia and practice, encouraging younger academics by providing an opportunity to present their work to both other academics and practitioners, while providing opportunities for practitioners to communicate with academics and influence their work. Why virtual, you might ask? In short, we just don't have time to wait for COP27. The time to act is now. The conference must have a large global reach, and virtual is the best way to share these insights. We look forward to your participation in the discussion of the critical issues we are facing. The CARE Conference is held in cooperation with Sustainable Investment Forum North America 2022, which takes place tomorrow. The forum is the largest finance forum during Climate Week New York City in partnership with the United Nations Environment Program Finance Initiative. It is one of two flagship climate forums in Climate Action's Roadmap to COP27 series. Registration in the Sustainable Investment Forum is still open and I encourage you to register if you have not already done so by going to climateaction.org. Day two of the CARE conference will continue at 9 a.m. on Friday. Before we begin, there are many people I would like to thank for their contributions to this conference. I will have time to thank some of them later. At this point, however, I would like to express our gratitude to the CARE program manager, Laurie Marsh, who partnered with us in creating all aspects of the conference from liaising with potential and confirmed speakers to securing all of the details and creating this virtual conference, which we are all about to enjoy. Thank you, Laurie. I also want to take the opportunity to thank our sponsors, Accountability, Cambridge Business Publishers, and the Mendoza College of Business for their financial support for this conference. Their sponsorship made the conference possible. Running conferences and publishing a journal are both costly endeavours. Please consider becoming a partner in these endeavours. Of course, we are happy to talk with you about ways you may partner with us in either the journal and or the conference. Last but by no means least, I thank the folks at Climate Action and Duna Films for the enormous amount of great work that they have done to produce this virtual conference. Finally, I have some important announcements. This conference is the second in a series of conferences on accountability, sustainability and responsible investing. The conference features accounting, finance, economics and legal practitioners as well as academics. There was a call for papers from both practice and academia and we will hear from those accepted speakers over the course of the two days. 
These papers will be published in Accountability in a Sustainable World Quarterly, which will be released in November to coincide with COP27. The journal will be housed at CARE. It has a global editorial board of leading academics and practitioners. The digital journal will publish papers written by both academics and practitioners, the target audience being both groups. Everyone registered for the conference will receive free access to the first issues. Now let's focus on the conference itself. I trust that you will all enjoy the conference. May I remind you throughout the day to enter any questions you have for the speakers in the chat, and I will ask the questions on your behalf. And if you experience any problems with the live stream, pushing refresh should you get, get you right back in the session. So hit refresh and please hit the chat often. We'll now begin the day by hearing a key message from academia, followed by a key message from practice. First is Andrew Caroli, Howard Beerman Distinguished Professor of Management, and the Charles Field Knight Dean at the SC Johnson College of Business, Cornell University. Andrew is an enthusiastic supporter of CARE's sustainability work. We thank Andrew for all of his support. Andrew will share the story about he, how he became involved in advancing climate finance research, climate policy advocacy, and knowledge co-creation. We'll then hear from Wilhelm Mon, Global Head of Corporate Governance at Nordjus Bank Investment Management. The aim of this fund is to ensure responsible and long-term management of revenue from Norway's oil and gas resources so that this wealth benefits both current and future generations. The fund has a small stake in more than 9,000 companies worldwide, including the likes of Apple, Nestle, Microsoft and Samsung. On average, the fund holds 1.3% of all of the world's listed companies. I'm sure you will enjoy the conference and learn from the various different perspectives that will be provided by the 47 speakers and panelists. Thank you all for your participation. Without further delay, let's jump into today's programming. <laughs> 